Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I want to show you guys the um, Ogo. The Ogo. I am wanting to kind of, I want to make a sweater out of it. And um, I want to show you guys it. Look at this ombre. Is that not beautiful? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this. Excuse the mess in my room. My room is a hot mess. But what I want is I want, I did this sweater, the back of the sweater, and the way the pattern is, here, let me show you. The way the pattern is, it's getting lighter at the top, but the pattern is actually going to go this way. So I have to use another skein because I want the deep purple. I didn't do the right project with this, but that's okay. That's okay. But anyway, so I'm going to roll this up on my winder, my ball winder. And I want to show you guys how big a cake it makes. But so far, working with this yarn, it frogs very easily. It's a little slippery on the hook, on my plastic hook. Um, I was, I'm using a, well, I started out with my clover, the 6.5, and it keeps slipping off the hook. So I have my furl I've been using, and forgive me, my nails are disgusting. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, come on. Okay, that's what it looks like after it's wound up. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so, a couple things. Let me, okay. A couple things, it wound up really easy. It doesn't knot up, it isn't a yarn. You would think it would get knotted up. It frogs, it's smooth, it glides on the hook. I'm very happy with it. It's soft, it's very soft to me. Yes, and I kind of messed up. I did the wrong pattern. I've been doing that same pattern I've been addicted to all summer, the breezy cardigan. But um, I should have done it like this but it's too wide, so I'm gonna make it like this. And in order to keep it from ombreing out, I'm, I've got two other skeins. This one, I'm gonna make one panel with the center and then the other panel with the other one. And then I'm gonna work on my sleeves. It just never stops, does it? <laughs> I don't know what's more frustrating. Somebody calling me while I'm doing a video or calling me and I go to the phone and nobody's there. <laughs> But yeah, so I gotta make a front panel and I'm thinking I'm gonna do long sleeves and I think I'm gonna chain it out and then do this pattern on each panel. Like do a sleeve on the front panel on one side and the other side of the front panel and then do the sleeves on, do a sleeve on both, on both arms for the back panel. This is the back panel. That's what I'm doing, and I'm trying to really finish fast. I want to get this done. I'm going to finish this. Yes, if I do this video, i got to finish it. Even though I have an other, a million other whips to do. But I did a Vlogmas day, what was it, day six or seven with Brinley, but I wasn't in the picture. She did a yarn haul. I think she did an awesome job. So I'm going to go ahead and do an extra video, but yes. Uh, Y'all, this yarn is awesome. I'm so happy. It's Karen Colorama Halo. It's a number four. 
And there is, I mean, let me show you the Hanks. Sorry, <laughs> but you look at this little skinny thing and this is what it turns into. Yeah. So don't knock anything till you try it. I learned that by this yarn. I gotta find my little clippies. So, but, so I'm gonna start on my front panel. I gotta wind up this other one. And then I think I'm gonna knit um, the ribbing on the bottom and on the sleeves and to continue the ombre. We'll see how it turns out. I'm excited. And um, I got a sweater here. I'm kind of, I'm following, the sweater fits me perfect. I'll show you guys this sweater. I wish I could find this yarn. I did not make the sweater. It was a store-bought sweater, but I want to show it to you. Get off my sweater. Okay. Look at this sweater. I love this sweater. Look at the colors. And it's got sparkle in it, but it's a knitted, probably machine knitted. I wish I could find this, but this is the ribbing I want to do. I want to see if I can copy that, but this sweater fits me perfect. I love this sweater. I love the ribbing around the collar, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the ombre. But isn't that a pretty sweater? I've had this sweater for years, and I found it in my closet the other night. I'm like, ah! So, kind of doing that. And then I do have the Ogo in blue and, and browns. I don't know if I could hold it together. I did find some black yarn that sparkle, just sparkle. I wonder if I could hold three strands together. Do the blue ombre, the brown ombre, and then the black sparkle. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? I would almost copy this. But I don't have dark brown. It's like a earth. It's like a tan or a taupe. But you know me. But I'm having fun, and I hope you ladies are having fun with the Amigurumi Wars. I haven't started yet. I got so much on my plate. I got to do that baby hat. I want to do the baby hat for the Annie's calendar um, with a Charm Grammy. I want to do. Um, I got, it's, I got to do my, um, well, no, I, I caught up on my, um, my temperature blanket with, um, Dina, Rose, and Z. And I'll link their channels down below because I'm terrible remembering channels. And then there was something else I'm doing. I'm doing a, a knitted, um, I started out doing a knitted blanket with Hometown, and you guys, I changed it up. You want to see it? No, I'll show it to you tomorrow, because I got to I gotta do a video every day. But no, I want to show you. And forgive me for the way I look. This is bedhead. I've been chit-chatting with my, my BFF, Pamela. Look, y'all. And I'm using number US 15. That is, these aren't the fancy hooks. These are the hooks that I got on clearance for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. I don't, they're Knitter's Pride, but they don't have the, you know how they'll say US 15 and it'll say like eight or 10 or whatever. It didn't have that, but. This is Hobby Lobby yarn, baby yarn. It is a number five yarn, but it's pretty thick. So I don't know if you can see the detail, but I did use white. It's Hobby Lobby, white serenity from Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I just wanted to put white on the edge there. I was worried I might not have enough yarn. So let me show you the yarn I'm using sure you all have seen it. It's Baby B Sugar Pom Pom. And I got this for $1.24 last year clearance. 
and the color is called Sweet, Sweet something, Sweet, Sweet Itis. I can't, I can't see it. Sweet. Oh, Sweetums. It's a number, let's see. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 52 yards, 48 meters. So, and it's a number, it's a number six, y'all. So it is a number six. Awesome. But anyways, I've got, and then this is the Serenity at Walmart. I, I bought, every time I went to Walmart, I'd buy white, gray, black, and burgundy. Those are the only colors they had, but I have stocked up on that. Because I've got a huge blanket that I haven't finished. It's been in timeout for a year. <laughs> I need to finish it one day. But the, and this is what I have. I have, this is what I have of the pom-pom yarn. Now, I do have blue and gray, so, mm, I don't know. I could use that if I run low. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to utilize the Serenity White. It's the same size. Yep. And I like working with this yarn. It's a little squishy, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And I still have what I first started on my hooks that I'm going to use the hometown. I'm still going to do this one too. So I'm going to do, I know you guys are going, Nancy, what are you doing? But, but I still have this. And so I'm working on this too, and I lost a couple stitches. Uh -oh. What happens is I fall asleep with yarn in my hands, and I don't have the tips there. All right, I didn't lose any stitches. So, but anyways, yep. And I showed you guys the other yarn I'm gonna use with this. So, but. These chunky yarns, boy, they don't go very far. I mean, they do. You can whip up stuff fast, but there's not a whole lot of yardage on these. And me living in Florida, I don't work with a lot of um, number five and number six yarn. This is kind of, kind of, it's not a first, but you know, it is a first for knitting, so. But that is the blanket with the Zoom ladies. Um, I think I linked the pattern on the video from yesterday. Vlogmas number six. Hey, honey, you need help? No, just getting all the dirty dishes. You want to say good morning? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> he's he's doing wow. the dishes. He's so good to me. Shit. Hang on. Okay, where was I? So that's what I wanted to show you is how this how this wound up. This is how it worked up. And you can kind of see it's starting to get lighter at the top a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very faint, but I don't want it to change because <sighs> I did the pattern the wrong way. <laughs> so I want to, so I'm going to do it this way. It's, this is the back. Yep. And I'm going to chain out to do the sleeves. I think, I think that would be. I think that would work out pretty cool. Yep. So I'm excited. And I'm really trying to crank it. I worked on this thing really late last night. It kept slipping off the hook. It was driving me crazy. But it's, I love it y'all. And they've got so many pretty colors. I mean, I went back to Joann's in Gainesville and I found Glam Yarn. Um. It's got sequins. I was going to make a baby hat. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I didn't get a lot of it. Well, they didn't have a lot of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a hat and a scarf for a Christmas gift for one of my... Oh, Hobby Bingo. I'm going to play. Y'all get on there and play. You can get cheap yarn or win free yarn. That's what I'm going to do right now. So y'all have a wonderful Sunday. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah!